What's up, YouTube? What's up, my college football fans? It's your man, Hollywood Sports. If you are new to my channel, thank you for clicking on my video and welcome to Hollywood. Welcome to Hollywood Sports. Guys, as you can see, I got a little sore throat. My voice is a little changed, but I'm okay, man. I'm going to fight through it. But what I wanted to talk about is realism in this game. You know, one of my videos I did when I talked about AI intelligence um, is something we're not used to. It's something we have to learn how to adapt to. Let me give you an example. Because a lot of people say it's the game when it's not the game. Now, there are some situations with the game. The game needs things fixed. But there's a lot of things that is not the game, guys. It's just something we're not used to. Let me give you an example. Now, see those two linebackers right there for Wake Forest, man? There are two middle linebackers right there. Watch their movement. We got my man coming in motion right here. Now, stop. Okay? Now, you probably thinking, why aren't those linebackers moving? I see people complaining about it. What if he faked to that, that receiver on that end of the round and give it to my man, uh, 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 my man right there, my halfback? Right? What if he give it to Coleman right there? So those linebackers have to stay still until somebody gets the ball, okay? So now, you see he has the ball. See, they stay still. Boom. Now, when he gets the ball right here, now they start reacting because now it holds the, it, the that movement holds those linebackers. That's realism, guys. Those linebackers can't automatically chase the, the wide receiver going in motion because, again, Coleman, my halfback, could get that fake and go right up the gap with no linebackers. And my, my offensive lineman going to be there. It's going to be a big game. So they stay home until they my man gets the ball. He's coming across. Now we have great blocking across the board. We have great blocking across the board. Look at that. Now he out he outran that tackle right there. I mean that end. That right end. Right? He got a good block shed, but we outran him. Now look at my receiver downfield, Jackson. Giles Jackson, number five. I think that's Giles Jackson, but it doesn't matter. Look, at the receiver is making his block out here. We got room, baby. We got room. Look at that. He's doing a great job. He's got his arms extended, the receiver. There's so much realism in this game, guys. Look at that. He kept him to the inside, and all we had to do was do a little spin move. Now, a lot of people say the pursuit angles are bad. They need improvement, but I guarantee you all the people complaining about pursuit angles are online. Okay? It's tough when you got humans going against these CPU guys. Now, he's got a great angle. I don't see anything wrong with this pursuit angle right here. When you see the safeties coming down right here. Look, he has to meet him to the sideline. He has to go where he's going. That's good pursuit right there. Look, he can't, he has to do real player movement. He gets the, the spin move, and you might say, oh, that was bad pursuit. How is that bad pursuit? Well, you want to see him warp into the tackle? Then you can complain, right? He can't avoid that. Even a human can't avoid that. But he has to has the correct pursuit angle right there to meet him. He's right on time right here. Now, how is he supposed to anticipate the, 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 the spin move? He's out of place now. He can't warp back in. He, he's got to do his proper steps. And some people say, oh, he did horrible pursuit angle. That's not horrible pursuit angle. He just got to be truthful to the move, player movement on his spin move. Look at that three-man hit tackle right there. Beautiful. Beautiful, guys. Okay? Now, when I look at my offensive lineman, guys, watch this. Look at number 64 and 74. Okay? My tight end number 87 is going to get the right end right there. Boom. Okay? Number 74 is going to the next level and handle the linebacker. You already got, got him inside. Now, why did that linebacker go inside? Because he has to stay home because Coleman right there, number one, may get the ball. He gets sucked inside. You see that, guys? That was a great play. This People say this game is not simulation. It is simulation. The AI is simulation. And when they fix the issues with this game, this is going to be a great game. But I explained to you why those linebackers need to stay home. And that was a great play setup versus that 
defensive formation. I'm Hollywood Sports. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on my next video.